Cooking ดีว่า A novel about a Thai girl with a passion for Thai cooking by p a n w a d i p u n g l a d a k e t i m e k i n Episode 10 c h a i t i c h a d drove his b r a c k f o r wheel car to the next destination, a s o r t e d s t r i n g b a s e d shop in Chonburi Province. The place where the best fish sauce and s a l t e d s t r i n g b a s e d or gabi, as Thai would call it, were made. A small road led to the house near the seashore Bang s a m He stopped the car in front of an old house of the gabi maker, from whom grandmother sourced her ingredients. He remembered his grandmother used to tell him that salted shrimp paste was one of the most important ingredients in Thai food. It helped make many dishes more delicious. He introduced himself and Midi to the shop owner, a small old lady the same age as his grandmother. She was very energetic and smart. In her local clothes, she welcomed them with a little smile on her shoppy face. The boss, c h a i t i c h a hated k a p i as it was so smelly, so he had to be the one who tasted it. Seeing that the lady was rather nice, Midi made friends with the old lady and asked about the recipe of the salted shrimp paste, the k a p i Please share with me your recipe for making k a p i I'm not going to steal your business, I promise. Is my secret of success. I will tell no one. Oh, Grandma, won't you believe me? Why can't you trust me? I will give you my word. I won't make it commercially. I will only make it for my own cooking. Okay? Let me watch while you make it. I will just look and not ask any questions at all. Can I? You are very annoying. A lie. Follow me. The old lady gave in to the girl's insistence. She let Midi follow her to the back of the shop. You can wait here. I shall be back in thirty minutes. He had hated the smell of k a p i since he was very young, so he was happy to wait in the shop. Midi watched the process of making salted shrimp paste. Workers. Vigorously powdered massive amount of tiny shrimps and salt in a gigantic mortar. After powdering until it had become shrimp paste, they transferred it to a big bowl. Nowadays, they use grinding machine to make shrimp paste, but I still use a pestle and a mortar. After we have the salted shrimp paste powdered to the finest we want. We let it sit in open air and let it dry by the sun. Then we will keep it in the closed jar. We can keep it in a jar for up to a year. My g a p i is clean and has a great aroma. No preservatives, no additives. I guarantee. Of course, it tastes great. I believe you. Thank you very much for showing me your script. What a lovely girl you are! You are kidding me, as if I'm your friend. Go, 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 go! Your boyfriend is waiting. Oh no, he's not my boyfriend. Not in a million years. He's my boss. I'm going. Bye. Go, go. Good luck. c h a i t i s h a d bought one big jar of k a p i from the old lady. After that. They went to meet a fish sauce manufacturer. The owner's daughter gave them a guided tour to the process of making fish sauce. The lady in mid thirties, with dark patches of freckles from the sun, explained everything to them. Here, we marinated fish about a finger of size, with salt in a big jar, and covered with a net. Called ijo, for seven months. We must always check and spoon out the floating oil from the fish and salt. Midi watched with interest. We must cover the jar if it rains because water will ruin all the fish sauce. 
Otherwise, we keep the shop open to let the sun kill all the germs and edge the mixture for a good aroma. We marinated it for seven months, then we extract the premium fish sauce. Broiled salt water is then added, and after seven more months, the second extract is the fish sauce that we use in the kitchen. The remaining is then sent to make fertilizer. The girl listened very carefully while her boss was being bored to death. He hurriedly purchased the fish sauce he needed. After getting themselves stinged from the visit to the guppy and fish sauce presses, Midi thought they were going back to Bangkok, but then he said, I have one more business to deal with. She knew he had wanted to go to a place marked in the GPS. It took about 30 minutes driving to that place in Pattaya. As it was nearly dark, he had parked his car in front of an old house near the seashore. A middle-aged man ran barefoot to him and greeted him with a broad smile, showing his lost front teeth. His skin was tanned. Uncle Sin, do you remember me? I'm shy, grandmother Yisun, grandson. He gave a why. We did it as well. Uncle Sin looked at the gentleman and shouted with delight. Master, master, you are grown up now. If you hadn't told me who you were, I would not have remembered. Master, you used to come here with your grandmother when you were a very young boy. He was gesturing. The master smiled at him. Why had master not told me before? I would have asked my wife to clean the house and cook something for you, master. Are you hungry, master? And you? Uncle Sip asked the girl at the end of the conversation. She was looking out at the sea, so she could hardly hear him. What did you say? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Uncle Sin smiled a little before he spoke very loud, louder than the sound of the sea breeze. This girl must come from Isan. Is that right? You are certainly not master girlfriend. Shadi Shad immediately confirmed him. She is not my girlfriend. She is an assistant chef. I am her boss. We came to work. And on the way back, I wanted to come here. That's all. It's almost dark. I have nothing to welcome Master with. It's okay. I would like to walk around this area before going back to Bangkok. I want to do it for my grandmother. Okay. I will go with Mother. It is not that long. You will wait here. He told her. I will. Midi had never been to the beach before. So she was very excited to see the sunset and feel the sea breeze. She walked to the beach with her bare foot and stood there motionlessly. She was standing on the soft sand, looking at the sunset. The picture was very perfect. The orange sun was going down from the almost dark sky. It was so beautiful that she could not bring her eyes for a second. Beautiful. She turned her head to see him standing behind her. They were so close that they could feel the warm breath of each other. He was looking at the sunset too. It's dark already. Shall we go now? She said nothing at all. She wore her white sandals and followed him to the car. He was driving on the road that led to Bangkok before he suddenly turned the steering wheel and changed the direction towards downtown Pattaya. The downtown was in high metal. There were hotels, restaurants, bars, pubs, shopping malls, supermarkets, and small shops scattered everywhere. It looked like international community. When he saw a German restaurant sign, he immediately parked his car in front of the restaurant. Follow me. I'm so hungry and thirsty. Yes. She was hungry too, so she followed him into the restaurant like his own shadow. It was crowded inside, 
after waiting to be seated for 10 minutes. They got a table near the small stage in the restaurant. He ordered a jug of beer for himself and fried pork leg, German sauces, and tom yum goong with jasmine rice for her. Go ahead. He was drinking his beer with fried pork leg while she was quietly having dinner until she was full. The waitress came to place the bill at the table. Sit down! Mini was startled by the call. She looked at the waitress with wondrous eyes. She did not know her at all, but the small waitress was still holding her hand with the delight one got when meeting an old friend. Midi started thinking. Finally, she recalled something. She gave her a welcome smile. Who is here with you? Your new hubby? What about your old hubby? Where is he now? Did you divorce him already? Who is your daughter? All the questions she asked almost made Midi fall out of the chair. She looked at her boss. He was looking at both of them. He was startled too. His eyes were full of questions and he was surprised and then turned away from the scene in front of him. Midi grabbed the waitress arm and took her to the cashier counter. While they were talking, he was sitting thinking about what he had heard them saying. He could hardly hear all the words in Northeastern dialect they said to each other, but he already understood that the girl had been married and had had a kid before. How could a young and an innocent how could a young and innocent looking girl like her have had such an experience? Suddenly his heart felt so deeply empty.